Well, we'd like to start off. Who's that in the back there still talking? Who is that? <laughs> I love the look on their face when they turn around and look at you. We'd like to start off by thanking everybody for coming to our second annual Shortest St. Patrick's Day Parade in Virginia. Let's hear it. Beautiful, and we're so happy that the weather cooperated. Uh, raise your hand if you were here last year, one of those crazy people. All right, Jen, let's have a nice hand for them, too. They Make sure you come over and see our lovely pictures here done by Chuck last year, right here on the mantle. They're quite interesting. Most of us have our eyes closed, but uh, <laughs> they really did come out quite nice. At this time, I would like to uh, thank uh, the Bannon family at Bannon's Irish Inn for uh, helping to host us again this year. Uh, I'd also uh, like to thank Celtic too. We have Mary Jo Mormon here in the background. And as you can see, a lot of, they're moving over to this side and so forth, and you can see a lot of their beautiful wares, and yes, they do sell kilts too. Next year, I expect more people in kilts, or at least a towel wrapped around you or something. <laughs> she sells those too, a uh, monogram for you. But uh, we also uh, like to thank uh, Wendy and Martha, our co-hosts in this, from Jack Mason's Tavern next door. Let's have a nice one for that. And we're uh, hoping to make it across the street there, our 88 feet, officially measured. And the mayor said to me that he came up with something a foot longer than what I measured, but we'll go with our measurement of 88. Spoken like an Irish person. Yes, thank you, Mayor. <laughs> so forth. Uh, at this time, I would like to turn over the mic to the co-host also of this, the Clifton Forge Main Street, and uh, Mott, if you'd like to, let's have a nice hand for Mott and their organization. Thank you very much. First of all, I'd like to thank Mott for having us. Um, why don't we give a round of applause to our Irish mayor, Mayor Carl Brentley over here. Our Irish town manager, Darlene Burcham. I know I saw Jonathan Roberts here. I haven't had a chance. The crowd has gotten so wonderfully big. There she is. Right there. There she is. Jonathan, one of our council people. chance to see you. You're here. Thank you so much for coming. Um, let me see. I'm supposed to do something else here. Oh, yes. I'm supposed to introduce a certain Father Tom McHenry. Where the heck is Father? He's over having a beer while he's getting ready. <laughs> like all good Irishmen, I was talking. <laughs> Tom is this year's Grand Marshal, and he was extremely reluctant in that we had to slow him down. He was running out to get his Grand Marshal sash. Here you go. Thank you, Mom. I was asked to say a little something about my uh, Irish heritage, and I have some. Um, one of my ancestors was a man named James McHenry, who was a physician uh, who came from uh, the area around Galway, but, but, he also was the Secretary of War uh, in the first administration of uh, uh, George Washington. Um, there's a small fort over in Baltimore um, <laughs> named after him. Uh, and I, for, for several years, I was, uh, I was an ion, ion, I should explain that, uh, corpsman for the uh, uh, Naval Reserve, which drilled, uh, actually Marine Corps Reserve unit that drilled there at the uh, Reserve Center, which was just down the street from uh, Fort McHenry. So we used to go over on our lunch hour and walk around and sort of imagine we were back in 1812 or 1813 and uh, 
where the site where the, where the site where the Star Spangled Banner was was written or written about. So I have that connection. Um, on the other side, on my mother's side, I have a Welsh and Scottish heritage. So I'm I'm a complete Celt. Um, <laughs> or a smelt or something. But, uh, 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 those of you who, who know, uh, I'm the rector at St. Stephen's uh, Church out on uh, Turner Road here in Clifton Forge. And this year will mark the 15th uh, anniversary of my uh, being appointed rector out there. So I've been here for a while. I'm originally from Greenbrier County, West Virginia. Uh, so I look at the other side of the mountains I looked at when I was a boy. Uh, they look the same on each side. I don't know. <laughs> Except there I was looking at sunrise and now I look at the sunset when I look at it. But uh, we've been here, like I say, for 15 years. Um, some of you may know my wife, Gail, who with Pat Persinger runs an animal rescue called uh, Allegheny Highlands All Breed Rescue. <coughs> If you're looking for dogs, they have them. <laughs> well, they actually they do. Well, they have a right now. We have a Great Pyrenees um, and a couple of smaller dogs. Uh, we have a, we have a husky, but the huskies jump fences very easily. Yeah. So think very carefully before you decide to it, or they dig under them if they can't get over them. Uh, I'm. Delighted to be the Grand Marshal this year. Um, I can walk 88 feet. Um, several years ago, uh, somebody tried to talk me into going to the uh, St. Patrick's Day Parade in New York, but I found out that that was like 11 miles, and I found something else to do that day. Um, thank you, Mark. Now you see why we selected him as our Grand Marshal. He's clearly full of a lot of bark. <laughs> uh, we, have, we have some um, musical entertainment for you all this afternoon. We have a, a fiddler. I think she'd like to. In other venues, she's called a violinist. But today, she's going to be a fiddler. No, I know. However, uh, she was a little late arriving here because she ran through three other St. Patrick's Day parades, much longer than ours, and it slowed her down. So I'm going to turn the mic over to Wilma McClung. I think she's behind me, and she will introduce our, our uh, soloist. Just a second. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this wonderful venue today. Uh, if you weren't here last year, you certainly missed a wonderful experience, and hopefully you'll remember this one fondly in your memories. Today we have a young lady, Santana Unruh. Santana is a senior at Allegheny High School. She auditioned for American Idol and for The Voice and won both, I believe, right? <laughs> um, she has a beautiful voice. She's been part of three musicals at Allegheny, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, Thoroughly Modern Millie, and the Seussical Musical, I think it was called. Yeah. <laughs> um, she's been part of Allegheny High School's choir for four years. She's performed throughout the Allegheny Highlands at many places. She's been singing since she was three years old. Take lessons, Ramsey. <laughs> and uh, today, she's been performing professionally for about four or five years now. Today she's going to do Danny Boy for us, which is a true classic, and Galloway Bay. And in between those two songs, the fiddler will play. <laughs> Good start, high surprise. <laughs> Yeah, I hate to be rude and look at my phone, but I didn't have much time to prepare for this, so I have to read the lyrics. It's your telephone. <laughs> <laughs> just multitasking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
My God, to 